Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday to everybody. So I am sharing this to my other page. So give me one moment. If you are jumping on, feel free to say hello. So um, I wanted to hop on here with you guys really quickly because something, I had a memory, I uh, recalled a memory of when, um, you know, I had first I guess started on a weight loss journey and some of the things that I used to uh, say to myself and some things I used to call myself. Um, and it got me to thinking about just all the stuff that held me back in the past from losing weight. And I think this is probably one of the number one things that um, that hinder me in my journey and hinder a lot of other people. And the reason why I had this thought is because of course, I talk to people every day who are looking to lose weight and, and get healthier, and those same thoughts and ideas um, come up in our conversations. And so I wanted to address that with you guys here because I think it's something that, you know, a lot of us aren't even aware of, um, one, or even if we are, we're not aware that we can change it. And these are the stories that we tell ourselves. Um, and when it comes to our weight loss journey. And um, if you stop by, make sure you say hello so I can say hi back to you. I'm super happy to have anybody here. And if you catch this um, recorded after I post it, then uh, still make sure you put any questions or any aha moments or whatever, make sure you put that down in the comments below because I will respond. Um, but going back to the discussion, you know, talking about what stories we tell ourselves that might be holding us back. And so I talk to a lot of people and one that always comes up is, um, is that I, I can't be that small and I, I would never be that small. And I want you to think back in your journey and, and you may be already like trying to lose weight. You may have already lost some weight and been successful. You might already be improving your health. But think about your experience and some of the things that you may have said to yourself. Um, and when I think about my experience, some things I used to say is that I could never be that small. I used to always tell myself that I could never be small. Um, I can never be that fit, you know, looking at other people uh, who are fit, especially other women and getting into that trap of comparison, especially as starting my business. I used to always compare myself to the other girls on social media and think that I can never be that fit. Um, my stomach would never look like that. I never have a six pack. I can never be that flexible when I wanted to start yoga. Um, you know, that's just not how I'm built. Those are some things that I used to tell myself every single day. And I want you to think about this. Does this sound familiar to you? Um, are you telling yourself currently any story um, that's keeping you from losing weight? So those are the things that I used to tell myself and how damaging these things are. Um, when you begin to tell yourself that you could never be a certain size, that you could never be healthy, that you could never go vegan, that you could never, you know, um, lift that many pounds, you could never be that flexible. You are literally creating your story. Um, and when you tell yourself stuff like that, you're, you're not ever going to reach your goal. And, and, and you may start to lose weight and start to feel good, but you, you, you have the potential to get to plateau right there where you are because you're already making up your mind that you can't go any further. Um, and so if this resonates with somebody, I want you to let me know because this is so, so crucial. Um, you will 
be whatever you say that you're going to be. Um, and if you say that you could never be that healthy, you could never eat like that, you could never go vegan, you can never give up meat, you can never be that lean, you can never have that six pack, you can never run three miles without stopping. When you tell yourself you could never do something, guess what? You're not ever going to do it. And this shows up in a lot of areas in life. And it's in particular, as I reflect upon like, you know, my journey and, you know, things that I've experienced, I used to tell myself stuff about this all the time. Even when it comes to flexibility, I never thought I could be as flexible as I am now. Um, and now I'm still not as flexible as I want to be, but I'm way more flexible than I was in the past. And I can see how with a little bit more practice, how I can become even more flexible. Same thing with running. I never, ever, ever thought I could run distances without getting tired or without stopping. And when I really put my mind to it, I can certainly run, um, you know, a good distance without, um, without exerting all my energy. Um, and the same thing goes for, for weight loss. When I was younger, I just wanted to be a size 12. <laughs> I mean, I was like, if I could just get down to a size 12, my life would be better. You know, my, um, my prayers would be answered. Life, you know, life would just be so much better than it was before. And when you say things like that to yourself, you put yourself there because guess what? I got to a size 12 and I stayed at a size 12 for forever. And then I wanted to be a size eight and I stayed at a size eight. And then I wanted to be a size six and I stayed at a size six. Um, and so when you have to be very, very careful, and very, very mindful of the things that you start to tell yourself, because some of those, um, because it doesn't just in fact impact you, it'll impact other people. You start to say stories so, so long to yourself that they turn into negative thoughts and they turn into like bashing other people. Um, I saw somebody write, on a post not too long ago that, you know, skinny people were unhappy and, um, and that she would never want to be that skinny anyways. And you could just hear the negativity in her tone. And, and I would not ever, um, think anything bad about this person, but you have to think about the story that she's telling herself now, not only is she unhappy with what she's got going on, she's imposing that negative belief onto other people. Now, other people aren't worthy because of how they are. And that's not good either. Um, you know, you have the ability to be, and, and you can want to be however you want to be. You can um, lose weight, gain weight, whatever your goals are, that's great. But those are your particular goals, and um, they should never be looked on negatively by anybody else. Um, and specifically yourself, because that's the most important Thing. Um, the way you believe in your, about yourself and the things that you believe in um, are the most important thing. And so you have to try to reframe how you think about yourself. Um, another thing that I want to mention about this is when it comes to just weight loss in general. Um, when we start to think about Yes, absolutely. Sad way to look at others. Absolutely. Because what you end up doing is um, it becomes a, a form of insecurity, right? You start to think about yourself and instead of just dealing with your unhappiness, um, sometimes that projects onto other people and that's not ever how you want anybody else to, you know, you don't ever want to come off that way and you never want to put anybody down. Um, you you know, we're all just here for love anyways. And, um, it, and that's the, that's the energy that you need to put out. But when it comes to being fit and, um, we, we think about this journey in terms of, um, I guess the skinny being skinny versus being overweight. Um, our goal should never be skinny anyway. So if we're sitting there and we're, and we're saying things like I can never be that small, I can never be that skinny. We already have the wrong goal in mind. Our goal should be to be our health, our healthiest, to live our fullest, um, so we can be vibrant, so we can be full of energy, so we can have our confidence, and those should be our goals. So if we're thinking about weight loss in terms of being skinny, then we've already got the wrong mindset. So what this all comes down to really is, 
how I feel is that um, it comes down to how you feel about ourselves, how we feel about ourselves. Um, we've been telling ourselves these stories for so, so long that we don't even realize that we're saying it to ourselves. Um, I speak to women every single day who will say things like, like I mentioned earlier, I can never be that small. Um, especially for women who've already had kids, they may say things like, um, I could never be how I was before I had kids. Or um, I hear people say, I can never be the size I was when I was in high school. And to be honest with you, that might be true. You might not ever look like you were in high school. You might not ever look like you were before you had kids because our bodies change over time. We are a living vessel and our bodies are going to change. Um, and you have to embrace that with every single, every single chapter of your life, you have to embrace that change. I want to be healthy for to feel better. I know plants will do that for me. Absolutely. Um, I'm so glad to hear you say that because that's what it's all about. Once you take the weight loss out of it and once you start thinking about the journey and being healthy so that way you can live this life to the fullest, then that's when you'll start to experience weight loss. Um, that's when you'll start to get those excess pounds off of you because you don't, your body no longer needs it and no longer serves you and you're, not, you're no longer telling yourself that you need to have it because that makes you feel safe. Um, you will begin to lose the weight because I wanna talk about this um, and a lot of it has to do with mindset. And um, I'm telling you these things because this is what helped me in my journey as well. So you will begin to start losing some of the weight um, when you first fall in love with the person that you are. It's so easy to judge ourselves and tell ourselves these stories, right? I will never be that small. You have to think about what that really means. That means that I'm always going to be this size. I'm always going to be unhealthy. I'm always going to have these habits. And you're essentially telling yourself that you're going to stay exactly where you are. Um, and you're almost saying that as if something is wrong with where you are. So there may be things in your life that you need to change or that you want to change or a goal that you have. But you have to start to appreciate what you have now if, if you're ever going to manifest anything differently. So um, that was one of the things that was the biggest barrier for me to even begin to acknowledge was loving myself and loving my body for how it was now. So if you are looking in the mirror and you don't love what you see, and that could be any one of us, right? We're all women. We all are kind of overcritical of ourselves, somewhat self-conscious of our bodies, and that's kind of typical for us. Um, but we have the ability to look at ourselves and say, you know what? It doesn't matter. I love myself how I am. If there's something that I don't like, I'm going to change it. I'm going to work towards it. And slowly but surely, you will start to see these changes in your body. Also, you have to, the second thing that you have to do outside of love, learning to love yourself is learning to rewrite your story. So instead of saying, I'll never be that size, you start to say, I'm a fit, fearless badass. You know, I look great. I love the way that I look. Say these things to yourself every single morning when you wake up and you go look in the mirror in the morning. Um, tell yourself that you love yourself. Tell yourself that, um, that you're fit. Tell yourself that you're lean. Um, give yourself a big hug. I know that sounds pretty lame, but if you try it, I promise you, you would probably feel some type of way. I started doing this not too long ago where in the morning I just give myself a hug and this is probably the first time I ever publicly said it because it sounds kind of cheesy. But honestly, if you don't, if you feel like you're lacking the love and support that you need, it has to come from within. So you have to love yourself enough to do those things for yourself. So tell yourself that you love yourself. Um, you know, start to rewrite your own story because you are fit, you are lean, you are great, you do love yourself, you are going to hit your goal no matter what, and you don't have to stay where you are. Um, and then the last thing is just to take action. Um, of course, you can love on yourself all day. Of course, you can... Um, try to rewrite your story, but part of that, th those are, that's just, 
those are just the leaves. You know, this is, you, you're putting the debris together, but you have to take action in order for you to fuel that fire. Um, so you have your foundation. Now it's time to get everything moving. And you start that by taking many steps in order to get to your goal. So if you have to get up a little bit earlier, so that way you can start to um, go on a walk in the mornings, or if you start by drinking a little bit more water and taking sodas out your diet, that's another thing that you can do. If you want to start incorporating more veggies into your meals, you can start doing that. But slowly but surely, you will start to see progress um, in your body and in your weight loss journey once you start to do those three things. So remember, if you are on this journey right now and you find that you're telling yourself these stories about how you can never be um, fit, how you'll never be lean, how you'll always be this size, how you don't want to get down, you just want to take a uh, you want to be a size 12. That's what I said. I just want to be a size 12. Um, if you're telling yourself these stories, then know that you have the ability to change them. Recognize it now that you're telling yourself these stories because ultimately they're keeping you comfortable and they're keeping you stuck with where you are right now. So learn to love yourself. Do what you have to do to, to, to show yourself a little bit more love. Um, you do that through affirmations and you do that also by treating it well, drinking water, hydrating yourself, getting enough sleep, having fruits and vegetables, a lot of leafy greens, rewriting your story. So when you hear that you're saying, telling yourself these things, rewrite it, say it differently. Tell yourself that you're a fit, fearless badass and that you, um, you're going to get to your goal. And then the last thing is just take action. There's no more binge watching YouTube videos and figuring out what recipes you need to get or subscribing to this program and that program and um, going to this gym membership and then never going, you need to take action right now. And it starts in the house with you. Um, and ultimately you will get to your goal. Now, if you find that you're still stuck and you need help with getting the ball rolling, that's where I definitely want to help you. I will invite you to, um, a, a free consultation to talk with me. Um, as a coach, that's something that I, that I really try to help people with is overcoming these thoughts of, um, and, and these doubts and these limitations that we put on ourselves because you are you are a badass and you might not you might not be where you want to be right now but I'm living breathing proof that you can be um, if you were to look back at pictures of me from a while ago you would think wow you've come a long way and if you would have looked at pictures of me when I was younger oh my gosh you wouldn't even recognize me it's crazy and I say that not to, um, not to boast because I still have plenty of work to do on myself. I have plenty of room, but that, I'm so passionate about this. I know you can change. I know that you can get to your goal. I know you can be healthy. I know you can be happy. Um, I know that you can lose the weight that you want to lose because I did it. And I had so many barriers in my mind. I had so many stories that I told myself. My confidence and my self-esteem was so low um and so if i can get through some of those things progressively because i would be lying to anybody if i said that these things don't still come up at from time to time but if i can learn to move through this and start to see changes in my body i know that you can too so um work on those things that we that i talked about today and if you still feel like you need um some assistance i'll put a link below so you can um, schedule a time to talk with me. I'll be, I'll be happy to talk through some of the things that you're struggling with and help you get some action going and help you get to your goal. Now, if you, um, if you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comments section below. I'd be happy to um, answer any of those questions as well, even if you catch the recording um, later on today. So I appreciate everybody for joining either now or later. Um, and yeah. That's all I have for today. I won't keep you so long, but um, I, again, I appreciate y'all for hopping on anyways, and I'll see, I hope you have a, it's Friday. So half of y'all are about to hang out um, for the weekend. And so I hope y'all have a great, great weekend um, and have tons of fun. Um, this weekend, just because I'm kind of in a Zen mode right now, I have like my diffuser going with some peppermint essential oils. 
which I haven't used in a while, it's got me in here feeling really calm and collected. So if you had a really tough week, and this is just a bonus because I'm just going off the top of my head right now. If you had a really tough week and you feel like you really, really just deserve some time to relax, take your time to relax. Get you some peppermint oil, essential oil, put a couple of dabs in the shower and take you a nice shower. Um, you know, sit down and read you a good book. Um, for sure, you will, you will definitely relax. Awesome. Adequate carb ratio for weight loss. So the, this is the thing about that. Um, there are so many different diets right now that you could decide to go through. Some are keto, high fat, low fat um, diet. I typically do between 65 and 80, 80 uh, percent of my, of my foods being carbs. Now, some people don't do that, but that is something that I typically have people do. Um, I believe that carbs are the fuel of our, of our body, um, and so I follow a high-carb diet. But I also think it's important that depending on where you are in your journey, if you're in that part of your journey where you're monitoring your carb and your macro ratio, I think that um, that's when you can talk about stuff like that. But if you're just starting, um, I don't know that is 100% necessary to focus on that. Um, but yeah, that's a great question. If you have any more about that, let me know. Um, and then also, if you are, if you're wanting to, we can you can also uh, click on that link and we can schedule some time to talk about that a little bit more. But thanks for the question. And I appreciate you for hopping on. All right, ladies, if there are no other questions, I'm gonna pop off, but I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Friday and an even better weekend. But I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.